Hi everyone, hope you are. This is Coins Kid. I'm just going to dive into the chain, okay? So once again, thanks for your support. Big up the Coins Kid crew. Thank you for sharing the videos and the content. Just off the bat, that's our projection, $1.58 in this bull run, okay? You've got an impulsive wave target, 82 cents, which I've shown you before. You know, if you break this high, just it at 28 cents, you're looking at a lovely impulsive long of 187%, okay? But I do anticipate that you might be looking for a little bit of support here before continuation, you know? Potentially, you break out of this apex here with this uh, horizontal uh, descending triangle, so sorry if you break the resistance you got a beautiful pump to the upside you lose support you've got a lovely short to the downside coming back to a key level support down here which is where you want to put some cheeky bids in okay so uh, on the four-hour time frame you can see we're getting really really close here to a break okay so i would imagine moving into september you're going to get some kind of move whether or not we get continuation of the ball here you know come up and break out and come back up to this high wherever it is you know come to your come to your chart draw your trend lines level of resistance and support lose support you're looking at a technical target to the downside obviously of this descending wedge you know and a descending uh, triangle sorry and breaks uh, resistance you're looking at continuation here either way you know either side you're looking at a beautiful long of around about 18 percent or a short of around about 18 percent and with that you would be coming back down to this beautiful beautiful w double bottom uh to retest the support because you know you can see pretty much on the four hourly time frame you you just melted for it basically it doesn't mean you have to come down to it but it would kind of coincide with a breakdown and a technical target if we was to see a correction in the market for crypto here okay so yeah i mean it's looking probable at the minute you're coming closer and closer to the apex here you know you start to roll under this hit your head you're looking at a correction it would be nice to get the correction over and done with relatively quickly to be honest with you like we did in this previous correction down here when we got come up overextended we're creating some kind of horizontal structure just there and then we rolled we came back down to the uh, neckline of a ww bottom i think we had a whopping correction out of that level of support just there and then we picked up you know and, and that's the continuation of the ball right there what would be negative for, for uh, v chain is you do if you do start to roll here and you lose this key level support down here right and you start to roll under that and you start coming down it in your head in your head and rolling because if you do that that's bear market material okay there's no bear market here at the moment you're going through a beautiful way for correction that we anticipate is basically we've load out we've hit the low hopefully you know but no one's got a crystal ball but hopefully we have and hopefully we're looking for continuation and we're just coming back to key level support before we get that continuation okay primarily you know these descending triangles you come up into them they are continuation patterns i think there's something like 64 percent chance that you break to the upside but you've always got to be aware of the the loss of support and the break to the downside and that's what i do that's my duty to you as you know and these videos is what i do i tell you where the support and resistance is for v chain so that is pretty much all i can say at the minute you know if we look at the hourly time frame you just caught between a rock and a hard place here between the descending triangle you know and you're creating these lower highs the base level of support just there so until you start to roll it's just chip chop sideways up down i mean look look at that is what's going on there <laughs> you know th this could be deemed as quite bullish to be honest with you because it's a, a falling broadening wedge like this look so that's actually relatively bullish to be honest with you that channel there that you're creating it's a broadening wedge and usually you do something like this doom, 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 doom. And when you break out this level of resistance you do usually come back up to where you form the wedge and you can see that if you did do that you would be breaking that level of resistance there which would actually see you breaking out of this descending triangle do you understand that so yeah that's that's basically uh v chain just keep an eye on it okay keep an eye on it. if you if you start to break this level of resistance here like i said to you you got a beautiful 18 percent long up and with that i would imagine you're going to come break this high you break that high, you're looking at retracement here to the all-time high. You're getting through the golden ratio. You're getting through the uh, 786. You're looking to get the party started. But, you know, historically, September has been dumpy for crypto. Um, so, But it doesn't necessarily mean it has to dump. It sort of slowed down, caught between a rock and a hard place, consolidating basically, because you've got quite overextended, looking for the next leg up. And if it has to come back to support to get that leg up, so be it. That's V Chain. Hope you enjoyed that update. Stay healthy, stay strong, stay tuned. Back tomorrow another V Chain update. But you know, a break is very, very close here towards this apex. Take care, everyone. Bye bye.